Hey folks, please enjoy this clip from our show, which you can find every single day at 4 p.m. Eastern exclusively on Rumble. We've been doing the best shows we've ever done, completely free of censorship and on a platform that actually supports us. You can also support us on Locals, where you can access a ton of exclusive content, movie riffs, as well as an archive of over a thousand full episodes going back as far as seven years. We've also teamed up with Merch Engine to bring you a new lineup of really awesome quality shirts, hoodies, and now even hats. So come check out our untapped uncensored show on Rumble every single weekday at 4 p.m. Eastern. You stupid idiots. Topping our news at 5.30, prosecutors have called court-ordered guardianship a superhighway that you can't exit from. This is crazy. And that's exactly what one Macomb County veteran says happened to him. You're going to get fucked. You guys are going to be real pissed, I promise. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Simon Shaquette. Gerald Harton says he survived the horrors of the Vietnam War, only to now feel like he's been captured by the enemy decades later. Only this time, he says the enemy is Michigan's guardianship system. And they just happen to be Vietnamese nurses. Have an investigator. Oh, no. What a nightmare to end your life. Heather Catalo is raising the voice of this combat veteran who's asking for help. I got to get out of here. In August, Gerald Harton says he was so frustrated about being under guardianship, he called the police on his own family. Man, it's 911. Where's the emergency? Well, it's kind of an emergency. The police have been here before. I can't take no more. This 77 year old Army veteran survived one of the most brutal battles in Vietnam. Now, decades later, Jerry says he feels like he's a prisoner of the probate court system. This is not right. This is illegally keeping me. Might as well go to jail. I fought in the battle of Panda Express. <laughs> talk to. Get three squares there. You know, and they'll give you your medicine. I've been in jail for a year. This is disgusting that they're doing this in my t-shirt, brother. Shirt, brother. Shirt, brother. Yeah. Jerry's journey into guardianship started last November after he had back surgery and other health complications. His wife, Mary, had power of attorney to make Jerry's medical decisions, but she was hospitalized at the same time, so she could not care for him. I was in the hospital, and my boy stepped up to be my overseer okay. of the medicine. So Jerry's son became his guardian, and when a judge approved that petition for guardianship, Jerry was declared legally incapacitated. Wait, because his son took over guardianship because he was going through a surgery or something. That declares you legally incapacitated? This, this guy is, does not seem legally. He is, seems pretty much all there. Can we agree? The guy seems pretty with it. Yeah. The court says I'm not allowed to go to the bank, take any money out, or do anything. What? Dude. If a judge appoints a guardian and conservator for you, you lose your civil rights. And that means what? you cannot make your own medical or financial decisions. Jerry says his son this did feels a good illegal. job of taking care of him at his home in Madison Heights after his surgery. But as Jerry and his wife both got better, Jerry says he started asking to go back to his own home in Harrison Township. I was a millwright by trade, worked seven days a week for 31 years. And I had everything paid for, my house, swimming pool in the back, a jacuzzi. I was made for my retirement. I'm not allowed to go home. And then... This is fucking bullshit. This is a nightmare. And things got messy. It's been a nightmare. Jerry's wife tried fighting the guardianship. His son hired a lawyer. And there are allegations Jerry's wife ignored court orders and refused to pay for Jerry's care. So the judge put Macomb County professional guardian George Heitmanis in charge of Jerry's life. Jerry says he was furious. Heitmanis kept him at his son's. So if you don't pay for your medical services, the government gets to take away your civil rights and own you forever. But let, let's say I, I agree with the wife. Let's say I agree with what the wife, but they, what they said the wife was doing, right? So if your wife, if, if your spouse doesn't pay for medical bills, that means the government gets to take away your civil rights and own you and confine you to your home. Yeah, o always has. What the fuck, bro? I'm sorry. House. I'm Even sorry, Royce. Did you forget we live in a country where all your wife has to do is say he hit me and now you don't get to have guns? But the crazy guy that's walking around downtown Orlando talking about bees or talking to him, he's been there for years. Mm -hmm. He's fine. He can just walk around and feel free to do nope. whatever he wants. Nope. He's free to do whatever he wants. But if your mother and your wife went behind your back and said, we're really worried about him, they would lock you in a funny farm.
Oh my God! Ain't this that is... America? You Home and free, me, baby. Ain't that America? Yeah, it only takes two people to go behind your back and go. Yeah, let's just gaslight the state Even and say we're worried about them. They got it though. Records show that the family started feuding so much, officers were called to the home repeatedly. Last okay, so he's having fights with us. So this suit, it seems like his angry family members have now confined this gentleman to his home. Last yeah. summer. 911 emergency. My father in law has vascular dementia and okay. he's trying to escape right now. Vascular dementia. Yeah, it's when he you. He does not. No, it's like when you have dementia, but you're also so jacked that you got oh, veins. Oh, that, that's what RFK Jr. is going to have. It's going to vascular dementia. Yeah. 911 emergency. That would be the scariest kind of guy to you get know dementia. You know, I said that. Jack Lalane. But wouldn't that be the most terrifying guy to get dementia? Would yeah. be a guy who's jacked. Of course. Who's still really strong. Well, you know what's also like dementia? CTE. And there's a lot that coming very soon. Yeah. That's why whenever I meet, like, you know, because me and Royce, we're always meeting these famous UFC fighters. Yeah. It's just weird. It's like, God, they're always around. I always speak very softly and delicately around them. I shake yeah. their hand very gently, and I go, have a nice day. It was nice meeting you. You don't want to start like, ah, shocking them and stuff. No. No. You don't want Chuck Liddell to fly into a rage. Three people are going to die. Yeah. And he's, it's not going to be his fault. He just escaped our house, and he's refusing to come in. But I'm kidnapped. I am really kidnapped. Through their attorney, Jerry's son's family declined to speak to the seven investigators, but police records show they alleged that Jerry was often the aggressor. According to court records... Well, yeah, if they're not letting him leave, I would be aggressive too. The allegation that Jerry has dementia has been used to justify the need for guardianship. The doctor's note used to start the court proceedings last fall says he's suffering from likely underlying vascular dementia. Likely. A report later ordered by the court that was conducted by a different professional guardian states Jerry's, quote, need for a guardian and conservator has been clearly noted by four different evaluators. For at least two of those evaluations, court records show Ooh. Jerry was on opioid painkillers. Yeah, and he alleges yeah, those brother. were the cause of he his confusion at the time. He was getting Roxy's and Tramadol? He said he, he said he was on those when they did the test. That's why he was confused, which, I mean, I could see that. Not dementia. Do you think you are mentally deficient? No. Just no. I he doesn't seem it to me, bro. No. Remember everything. No. And it's so Whether easy he... to prove this shit, too, because it's like, yeah, I'm sure he gets his foggy days and shit. But I mean, fuck, you get old. You have days where you're a little foggy. The seven investigators. So are we allowed to take somebody's civil rights away if they walk in a room and forget why they walked in there in the first place? Because that, that Royce is going to prison. We're all I'm going, going to we're prison. All going. Virgie, we're all going to prison. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Or the police. I do that once a day where I'm like, I got to that age now, bro, and I don't know what's happened to you where, you know, I used to be really cocky and I used to be pretty good at remembering things when I was younger. And now I'd say things like, oh, I'll remember that. And I never remember no, it. No, I, I never, never. I never remember it. I I'll take never, care of that in an hour. And I forget. And then it's three days later. You're like, fuck. Fuck. Dude, we all do. And it. it's not on purpose. It's just like you're just. I, 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 I really am way more. And then when you get older, guys, there's younger. We have a lot of younger listeners. When you get older, you rise real cocky with your memory. Like, you ever go to one of those hot shot rest waiters at a restaurant that tries to remember your order? Fuck off. That Write it really down. Good. It makes me feel better. Yeah. Doing <laughs> it for me, not even for you. It makes me feel better. Do you remember the last time we talked? Oh, I sure do. I don't have dementia. Jerry consistently insists he is not mentally incapacitated. And he says to anyone who will listen that he just wants to go home. It is a real bad situation. Don't want to be there. I mean, I think he's lucid. Dude, you know it's uh, bad when even the fucking uh, bootlicking uh, cops are like. Well, he probably has dementia. I don't think he does. Bro. I'm serious. This guy's In breaking rank. No, but you know what? Those body cam footages are going to be good for him and when he fights it. The cops will be like... Body cam footage obtained by the seven investigators. As officers move Jerry to the hospital, you can see he remembers the officer who's a fellow veteran from past police runs to the house. You're the army guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that exchange... That's, can I say something? He's better than I am, mm -hmm. than I would be. I, there's something else that I used to be good at that I'm terrible at it. I forget names. When I meet people, oh yeah, I'm hard. I'm so bad and I'm so cocky because I'm not listening and I should. 
and I know you're supposed to do the thing where you shake the hand and you repeat it back. I know I'm supposed to care. But I forget, and I don't care, <laughs> and I'm really bad at it. And then you have to call everybody chief and big guy at the gym or the store every time you see them. Change with police in August, Jerry was evaluated by more neurologists at the hospital, and doctors regularly noted in his records alert, that he was and, alert oriented. and oriented to person, place, and time. Doctors' notes indicate there had not been an outpatient workup for dementia. A more recent note from his regular doctor at the VA. For hashtag free Jerry, bro. I'm all about free yeah, free Jerry. My, says, yo, free quote, my homie Jerry, Mr. bro. Mr. Harton is competent and able to make his own decisions, and that Jerry understands the consequences of his actions. I don't know. Sounds Everybody. like something somebody with dementia would say. That I know. <laughs> would say that I'm not it's crazy. okay crazy yeah. just go to sleep crazy <laughs> jerry's guardian eventually not only does this guy seem lucid he seems like he'd be a pitch like a pisser to go have a beer with he seems like he would if he were to punch your arm it'd still hurt mm -hmm. transferred him from the hospital he looks like he's really good at darts yes like really good group home which he says he's not happy he about. seems like the kind of guy that would come up to me at a bar and go Hey, real quick, you got a cigarette? My, my, I'm here with my, my, my son-in-law, and he don't like when I smoke. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> and other than one hearing on Zoom in July... Bro, did y'all hear that? No. Because he, because he got to the fucking hospital, and because he was talking to people, and because it made his fucking son look bad, his fucking... They put him in a group home. Not happy about. And other than one hearing on Zoom in July, Jerry says he has not been allowed to attend his own court hearings. They always kept me away from court deals. And that's what made me mad. I said, why do I can't see the judge? Jerry's written two letters to Macomb County Judge Sandra Harrison asking to be heard in court. Fucking and his better handwriting than me. Have this is bullshit. Oh, all the other veterans are coming up. You know, don't go, oh. guys. It's a trap. They're going to stick you on the same group home. Oh, God, could you imagine? Look, this government is very embarrassed by the Vietnam War. All right? They don't want you guys uh, to be around. All right? They don't want to stay. We don't. We don't. Oh, no. you're, listen, I I don't blame any of you guys, by the way. But here's the thing: you are a very, very sore reminder of what happens when we meddle in other wars that we shouldn't be involved in, and we lost that war. And now everyone has to look at you, and they do not like you. That's why they treat Vietnam vets so poorly at the VA because they know it's a sore reminder of a war that we lost. And I have a question: How come you know we we, we haven't won a war since Vietnam, but we keep getting called losers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's very fair. I mean, real, right? Have You're we right. Won a, we haven't won a war no. since Vietnam, but every time Vietnam gets brought up, they're like, you fucking lost. Well, it's, like that meme, it's like that meme with Patton with like th three medals and Millie with like more than a North Korean general. You know? Uh, you had to literally win an entire war to get one ribbon back then. Yeah. That was, you know what I mean? Not just a battle or a campaign. You had to win an entire ass war and then you'd get one ribbon and then go congratulations.